Moonshot just dropped a trillion parameter beast AI agent that actually gets things done. Google quietly launched a memory system that fixes one of AI's most frustrating problems, forgetting everything you ever told it. And while those two grabbed the spotlight, Microsoft came in sharp with a small but insanely fast model that handles deep reasoning without eating up your GPU. It's all happening at once. Open source giants, memory powered agents, real world automation, and lightning fast long context models. Let's break it all down. All right, so Moonshot's latest release, Kimi K2, really changes the game. It's a massive model, one trillion parameters in total. But thanks to a clever trick called Mixture of Experts, it only uses 32 billion of those parameters for each token it generates. That means you get all the power without the insane costs. They trained it on a huge data set, 15 and a half trillion tokens made up of multiple languages and types of media. And to keep it stable at that scale, they used a custom optimizer called Muon Clip. This tool fine tunes how attention scores are calculated during training by adjusting the internal matrices in real time, which helps prevent the instability that usually shows up when training huge models like this. But what really makes Kimi K2 special is that it's designed to do things, not just talk. Most AI models out there are great at chatting and giving explanations, but they leave the actual work to the user. K2 is different. It was trained using simulated conversations where it had to solve real problems, choosing tools, chaining them together, writing and fixing code, analyzing data and completing complex tasks all by itself. It doesn't need someone constantly giving it step-by-step -step instructions. Once you give it a job, it breaks it down, figures out what needs to be done, and handles everything from start to finish. It also has some serious memory capacity. Kimi K2 can process up to 128,000 tokens of context, which means it can keep track of extremely long conversations, documents, or workflows. Each token passes through eight of the model's 384 expert modules, plus one shared expert that handles global context. And it spreads all that work across 64 attention heads, so it stays efficient even while juggling complex tasks. Moonshot released two versions of the model. The first is Kimi K2 Base, which is the raw version, perfect if you want to customize it for your own needs. The second is Kimi K2 Instruct, which is more refined and ready to use right away. This one is tuned for speed and fast decision making, so it responds instantly and doesn't waste time on long, drawn out replies. In benchmark tests, it performs extremely well. On the SWE bench coding test, it gets 71.6%, just a notch below Claude Sonnet 4. On another test called Tau 2, which measures how well it handles agent-like coding tasks, it scores 65.8%, way ahead of GPT 4.1. And on the live code bench, it hits 53.7%. Again, outperforming many strong competitors. Even on heavy math and reasoning benchmarks, it nails 97.4% on Math 500 and 89.5 on MMLU. That's serious performance. But real quick, if you've been following all this AI news and thinking, okay, this is cool, but what can I actually do with it? You're definitely not alone. That's why we created the AI Income Blueprint. It shows you seven ways regular people are using AI to build extra income streams on the side. No tech skills needed and you can automate everything pretty easily. The guide contains simple proven methods using tools I often talk about on this channel. Download it free by clicking the link in the description. Now here's where it gets really interesting, costs. While most top tier models like Claude Forcenet and Gemini 2.5 Pro charge $3 or more per million input tokens and up to $15 for output, Kimi K2 comes in at just 60 cents for input and two and a half dollars for output. And it even supports local deployment, which means you can run it on your own servers without paying cloud costs or being locked into a platform. That's a game changer for developers or companies that need to run large scale AI projects without breaking the bank. What makes Kimi K2 even more exciting is the shift in philosophy it represents. Traditional AI models are like really smart assistants. 
They can explain anything, but they won't actually do the work. Kimi K2 is built to be more like a junior developer that already understands the tools and just gets the job done. One of Moonshot's internal demos showed it using 17 different tools in one session to complete a task without any help. It wasn't just following instructions, it was managing the whole workflow on its own. This move from passive chatbots to action-focused agents is a big step forward. Instead of debating which model gives the smoothest response, we're now talking about which one can actually build, test, and deploy a working product by itself. That's a major shift. And because K2 is open source, it's not just something for big companies in Silicon Valley. Research teams, startups, and developers anywhere in the world, China, Europe, wherever, can access it, tweak it, and even run it on their own devices. In fact, other labs like DeepSeek are already pushing the same direction, proving that top-tier AI doesn't have to come out of California anymore. K2 proves an AI can think and then act. Yet every seasoned builder knows action is worthless if the agent forgets what happened five minutes ago. That amnesia problem caused by language models with no long-term recall forces developers to shovel entire chat histories back into the prompt window just to keep context. The approach is wasteful. Token bills shoot through the roof, responses slow down, and the model still loses track of essentials like your oat milk latte order. The stuff too much text in and you also trigger context rot, the well-known bug where the model misplaces or contradicts important facts because it's drowning in irrelevant lines. Google's new Vertex AI memory bank rewires that nightmare. Tucked inside the Vertex agent engine, the service watches every conversation, then a Gemini model quietly spins up in the background to identify and extract durable facts. Anything from a shipping address to a favorite product setting, each fact is filed under a scope such as a unique user ID, a project tag, or even a device cluster, so memories stay neatly partitioned. The extraction runs asynchronously, which means developers never touch a data pipelining script. It all happens off to the side while the agent is chatting live. When the user returns a day or a month later, the agent does not dig through a giant transcript. Instead, it sends a lightweight query to memory bank, an embedding search weighs the conversation topic, fetches only the memories that matter for the current turn and leaves the rest on disk. Gemini then checks for conflicts, merges duplicates, and ensures the memory stays fresh, following a topic-based method. Google researchers just presented at ACL 2025. The result shows up in real features. A healthcare bot remembers that soy allergy flagged last month and never recommends soy-based supplements. A beauty advisor tracks how skin type shifts from oily in summer to dry in winter and tunes product picks on the fly. All of that continuity happens without users retyping a single detail. Google baked memory bank straight into the agent development kit, flip a config flag and it is live inside agent engine sessions, handling both short-term conversation storage and long-term recall. Teams on other stacks, Langraph, Crew AI, Plain Python, can still hit REST endpoints to read and write memories. Early adopters start with an express mode, sign up using nothing more than a Gmail account, stay inside generous free tier quotas, and migrate to a full cloud project only when traffic or compliance demands it. That low friction path combined with automatic memory extraction finally turns persistent agents from a research toy into a production-ready feature. Together, K2 and Memory Bank frame a compelling pairing, an open, low-cost model built for action and a commercial service that grants stable long-term recall. Yet not every workload needs a trillion-parameter brain. Plenty of use cases live at the other end of the spectrum, where a developer wants snappy reasoning on a single A100 GPU or even a laptop that is where Microsoft steps in with Phi 4 Mini Flash Reasoning. Phi 4 Mini already proved that small models can still think really well. The new Flash Reasoning version takes that even further. It focuses on handling long conversations and big documents while staying small at just 3.8 billion parameters. Microsoft made it using a new method called Samba Way, which mixes two different techniques, state space models and regular decoder blocks. Instead of using attention everywhere, half of the layers now use tiny gates called gated memory units. These gates help the model remember things better and run faster. This change makes the model much quicker, up to 10 times faster when working with 32,000 token texts. 
They trained it with five trillion pieces of data, both real and synthetic, then fine-tuned it carefully. Even without using human feedback for extra training, it still beats older models on most tests. On the Math 500 test, it scored 92.45%, which is better than larger models like QN 1.5B and bespoke Strato 7B. On the AIME 24 test, it solved more than half the problems, again, ahead of the older version. Look, most people still think AI is some distant future, but regular folks are already using it to build income streams quietly, behind the scenes. If you want to see how they're doing it without tech skills or quitting their job, download the AI Income Blueprint. It's totally free, the link's in the description, but it won't stay free forever. For people building tools, what matters is speed and reach. This model can handle 64,000 tokens, use small attention windows like 256 tokens without messing up results, and it works right away with VLM or Hugging Face servers. That makes it great for legal teams reading long contracts or researchers going through thousands of papers. Faster results, less GPU time. Microsoft shared everything for free on Hugging Face, weight setup, and tokenizer, so anyone can download it and use it in minutes. The open license means you can use it for experiments, build private chatbots, or run agents with memory on small devices. It opens the door for many new uses, even without expensive hardware. Now here's the big question. Will giving trillion scale brains open access speed progress or invite chaos? Tell me what you think in the comments. Hit subscribe, tap that like button. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.